remember this is not Sir P. <laughs> my voice is not this guy's, nor is my face hidden. <laughs> so I don't want to mention names in my stories, but I'm sure there will be people out there who will hear this story and know who I'm talking about. Yo, my peeps, welcome back to my channel, guys. Big up on a cell phone. People, for those of you who have been asking about Zeus, come here, Zeus. Let me show you. Zeus, a big boy, you know. Big, big boy. All right, come up. Come on, up. Yes, good boy. Come. Some people want to see a big, 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 big boy. That's my boy. All right, stop being shy. Let the people let me see your face. Say hi. Say yo, wagwan. Wagwan, my Jamaican peeps. <laughs> All right, good boy. All right. I want to bring a little article to your attention here. As a matter of fact, after seeing this article today, I'm reminded of a story that I want to share with you guys. No. In the story that I'm going to share, I won't be calling any names. Remember, this is not Sir P. <laughs> my voice is not this guy's, nor is my face hidden. <laughs> so I don't want to mention names in my stories, but I'm sure there will be people out there who will hear this story and know who I'm talking about. But before I share the story, this is the article which reminds me of the story. Crack down on Jamaicans as Mexicans plug human smuggling scheme to the US. Um, the Mexican government has toughened immigration processes in permitting landing to Jamaicans amid growing concerns over an illegal human smuggling corridor to the United States. So guys, for those of you who do not know, you don't need a visa to go to Mexico. So people, many criminals in Jamaica, this is what they would do. If they can fly, if they, if they don't have like a stop order, right, where they're not able to travel, right, they would fly into Mexico and then cross over the Mexico-US border into the United States, right? That's the easiest way. Uh, another way, of course, is to take the banana boat and go to Mexico and then cross over to, Mexi um, to the United States from Mexico. And then you guys all know that there are cases where they will just take the boat straight to the US. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, there is another article here, guys, um, which says, a uh, Jamaican man arrested for smuggling immigrants. So <laughs> here we go, another Jamaican again. Uh, and this story is on um, Nationwide News Network. So a Jamaican man is among several people arrested and charged by the United States Customs and Border Protection Agency for the illegal smuggling of migrants last week. According to US officials, a customs boat pulled over a vessel carrying migrants off Lake Worth Inlet in Palm Beach County in Florida last week. 15 people from eight countries <laughs> were on the 26-foot vessel. And I have no doubt that uh, um, Jamaicans are part of that, right? So, yes, see, see the article said people from Jamaica and Guyana. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, people, the story that I wanted to share with you. Um, so back in the days when I just joined the lottery scam task force, a certain individual came to the attention of the lottery scam task force, and this was in 2012. So between 2012 and 2014, this individual was being watched and investigated. Right? This scammer was a very young youth because when we started the investigation, he was about 18 or 19 years old. 
He's actually the leader of a very popular gang there in Westmoreland, right? In money weighing heavy people. We arrested him not only for lottery scamming, but we arrested him for trying to bribe the police because he may have a whole heap of the police them in a Westmoreland in them pocket back in them days there, right? A whole heap of the police them in Westmoreland. They were on his payroll. As a matter of fact, we, I know of one particular police who was like his right hand man, and that the police, I think it was a BMW him driving up. Anyway, I mean, I said too much. But this particular scammer was so notorious that he was also wanted for murder, right? He was wanted in, 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 in the implication of several murders across Westmoreland and also in St. James. This future, when we put him before the court, right? Obviously, when I know the court system work, he got a couple mention date. One of the days then when we got court in about 2014, I think, we noticed that him never the court. So the, the judge ordered a bench warrant for him. And of course, the police start them investigation to find out where this youth there, why him never show up at court. During the investigation, we check a few places, we check some of him, him, you know, some of the places them we frequent, we check some people we hang out with, we check some of the people and we're close to him, family member. Nobody no know this youth there. This youth here was nowhere to be found in Jamaica. Look how Jamaica small. Nobody can hide a Jamaica people. <laughs> if anybody hide a Jamaica and can't be found, it's because no effort is being put out to find these people. You can drive from one end of Jamaica to the other end, the furthest end of Jamaica in, in, in less than a day. That's how small Jamaica is. So I said, no man, this funny, this youth here can't be found. Anyway, I think it was about a year after that I got some intelligence that this youth had taken the boat to Florida, right? And I think the U.S.-Mexico border is where this youth had it cross over to get into the U.S. So this particular youth, abscond bill, right, take the boat and is now in the U.S. He has not been caught. Up till now, he has not been caught. In 2018, the police arrested some gang members from Westmoreland who was a member of this same youth gang, the same scammer, scammer year gang, the scammer where I tell you about where they are firing right now. The police also seized a container full of guns and ammunition. And these guns and ammunition was linked to the same youth here where they're in the US right now. You understand me, I say? <laughs> This youth here, still not the US, he's still not caught. Young youth, when he start out, 18 or 19 years old. Now, this obviously was about seven years ago, six or seven years ago, right? And there's no doubt that this youth here still around things from where him there, at Jamaica. This youth here had so much money that there's no doubt that him could have getting things sought out and, and get smuggled in the U.S. easily, right? Establish himself in the U.S. and still have support in gang from the U.S. I saw the man them work. I don't know how a 19-year-old youth have all of them big links here. Me just <laughs> it puzzles me how much power this little youth here will have. Because the sickle youth here in one whole heap of car, I think he went to he build a big apartment complex right there in Westmoreland, same way. You know? Now, there was another youth who was associated with this youth. He was a member of the same gang who we arrested when we arrested Tommy Lee Sparta. This youth here was found in the company of Tommy Lee Sparta, and he was also wanted for murder. I know say a whole heap of people might know that story, so I said too much. 
But when we arrested Suta, he was in the company of Tommy Lee Sparta, and it was the same time that we arrested Tommy Lee Sparta for a lottery scam. This Suta was arrested with, with Tommy Lee Sparta, and of course, Tommy Lee Sparta did get bail. And this Suta was supposed to be transferred to West Milan because he was wanted for murder in West Milan. But somehow, I don't know how this happened, people, but somehow this Suta get bail. I remember. A fellow sergeant of mine was on the case when him tell me, me I said, what? The, the man get bail how? No, after that youth get bail, people, he was supposed to appear in court. He would, him, when him never show up. The first court date come, him never show up. Tommy Lee Sparta was the only youth who show up at court. Right? Fast forward a few months after, the intel also indicated that this man uh, take the banana boat to the US. So probably him and the other youth who run the, the gang link up and had to tour them over there right now. Yeah, man. <laughs> Trust me, me no know where them little youth get them links from, right? Probably if they were in other country, they would have dead already still. Cause we know the gang's thing still, you know? But yeah, people, that is my story. This youth here, Abscon Bill, it was my case. And this man here just was nowhere to be found. You understand? I remember Superintendent Clunis was a part of the team at that time. And he assisted with the investigation. May his soul rest in peace, Superintendent Leon Clunis, one of the best police officers I have ever worked with in Jamaica. That man was straight as an arrow. From my experience, not name corruption in that man born based on my experience, you know. But yeah, people, that's my story. People, as per usual, click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell so that you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Yeah, man. Until next time, my beautiful people. Peace out. Walk good. Yeah.